I'm Mac Mail, and in this video, I'm chasing the Northern Lights in Edmonton. I grew up in a small town called Inuvik in the Northwest Territories, located along the east channel of the Mackenzie River, about 100 kilometers south of the Arctic Ocean, and about 200 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. It's pretty far north. Because of its location, Inuvik is one of many places known as the land of the midnight sun, thanks to its 24-hour sunlight during the summer months. In the winter, Inuvik experiences an average of about 30 days a year of polar night, days where the sun never quite comes up above the horizon. One of the things I remember most fondly about living in Inuvik is the experience of the northern lights. We lived just about a 10-minute walk from the river, and I remember getting all bundled up, you know, heading out onto the river, onto the frozen ice, and just looking all around at the northern lights, it felt like they were literally right on top of you. It was so beautiful and, and so close and I just, it was magical. My parents still live in the north, though a little bit further south in Yellowknife. I'm still jealous of the experience of the northern lights that they have, not to mention my dad's talent at photographing them. Living in the big city of Edmonton, northern lights are a little bit harder to come by and they don't appear so vivid and bright. Or so I thought. It turns out that a service from the University of Alberta, known as Aurora Watch, provides a real-time monitor of geomagnetic activity in the Edmonton area. In other words, it monitors the likelihood of northern lights in Edmonton. Edmonton may not be as far north as Inuvik, but we're still far enough north to experience the northern lights quite frequently throughout the year. The aurora borealis, as they're known in northern latitudes, are caused by the collision of atoms with energetic charged particles which originate in the magnetosphere and solar wind. If you could measure that activity, could you apply some predictive intelligence and determine whether northern lights might be visible? Turns out the answer is yes. Dr. Ian Mann, a professor in the Department of Physics at the U of A, has been studying space storms for years and was even a co-investigator on two NASA space missions. He's led the team that's built the automated monitoring algorithms that make Aurora Watch possible. They gather data from ground-based magnometers, and using an algorithm that was developed by comparing historical data, they can predict when the Northern Lights might be active. You can check the Aurora Watch website at any time to see how likely it is the Northern Lights will be visible, or you can join the more than 20,000 other people who have signed up for email notifications. In my experience, a red alert from Aurora Watch is as good a reason as any to drive away from the city lights. You're pretty much guaranteed to see something on clear nights. Since 2009, they've issued more than 175 alerts. So while it's not quite as easy as walking down the street to the river and looking up all around you, chasing the magical northern lights in Edmonton is a lot easier thanks to the Aurora Watch service. Check it out at aurorawatch.ca.